and welcome to part three of the weekly kayaking tips. No mountains here asked. So where to store the paddle float and bilge pump? On the deck that's not really appeal to me, gets in the way, can be lost. Any alternatives? I agree completely. Uh, it's good to keep your decks both uh, fore and aft clear of things because if you're doing any kind of rescues, you have people on it, if you yourself on it doing a self rescue, it's good to be completely clear of anything that's going to get in the way. Uh, I usually keep both of those things, the bilge pump and the paddle float, behind my seat, uh, behind the back band. If your bilge pump is too big to go sideways behind your seat, uh, you could find a way to attach it to the underside of your deck. Uh, it, they sell clips that you can glue onto the underside of the deck. You could also find um, stand-up paddle boards. They sometimes have kits that come with sticky anchors and um, bungee cords. And you could put that on the underside of your deck. Uh, one, uh, there's also bags for the underside of the deck that can attach there and you're able to put your bilge pump and the paddle float if needed. In there as well. I've seen some people that have ashtrays on the top of their deck, therefore no space. They've actually placed their bilge pump on the floor of the kayak uh, with uh, things that hold it in place. I didn't really like that location because I feel if I'm doing a self-rescue it'd be very easy to kick it when you are getting into the boat without looking where your feet are going. Uh, but so behind the backrest or just you could find a way to attach it under the deck uh, so that it's out of the way. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you want to. I will keep doing these as often as I can. Just ask a question on the Instagram account and then I will try to answer to the best of my abilities here. Uh, if you want to follow up on any of the questions, just comment below or drop me a line anytime. See you next time.